Hey guys, Brendan Craft Scissors here with another plan with me. We're in my mini happy planner with me, which means this is a collab with the Plan With Me Design Group. Um, so make sure you check out the link to the blog below, which has a bunch of links for other channels um, that also do Plan With Me videos. And we post on like Saturday, Sunday, Mondays. Um, and as long as nothing comes up in our lives, <laughs> it's kind of like our little commitment of a group. Um, and then we also have a Facebook group, so you can join that if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of our new videos. A lot of us post them on there, um, including myself. So this kit is from Britannia Nicole. She's also in the Play With Me Design group, and she um, has her own Etsy shop. So um, you'll make sure that you check out her shop as well. Um, and you can use code, um, what is it, RUNWITH15 for 15% off. And then the clips are from my shop. So I included a variety. These ones are currently sold out, but I'm working on restocking just a few of them. I think about four of these and about five of these. Um, and then I will be coming out with this one as a white pumpkin with a gold, a rose gold top. I thought about doing just gold, but I know I have a lot of people that like silver. And I think rose gold goes with silver better than gold going with silver. But that's just me and my opinion. So take it as that. <laughs> um, all right, so this kit is, I'm ready for the leaves to fall, so excited. Um, I'm actually really ready for fall to like fully start here. Um, so the washi tape that I chose, I have a wide selection once again. Um, so I have these two, which I felt like focused on the green and the brown, and a little bit of that orange right there and the yellow right there. Um, this is part of another set that has another one that looks like it's like beige, with what looks like fidget spinners, um, <laughs> which I feel like I never use that one, but this set was from Michaels. Uh, so there's that one. So this might be like a top washi or like a skinny washi with the half box that I need or something. This one is one of my favorites and it's almost out, but I'm not willing to pay like $4 for another one. Um, I think it's from Echo Park. I think that's right. But I got this in a peachy cheap scrapbook kit thing. Um, peachy cheap is like a daily deal site. A lot of it has to do with scrapbooking or like carpe diem planner stuff, but sometimes they do washi. So check that if you're looking to up your stash. This was actually a washi that I have not used yet. It still has like the tape on it, which I think is funny because they put tape on tape. Um, but this washi is from Dollar Tree and it has lots of different flower, not flowers, leaves on here. And it has that like neutral background. So I thought I might use this one. We'll see. So I pulled that one out. Then I also have these two leafy ones, which I just showed in a video from Saturday. So I'm not going to go over it. This one's from the washi tape shop. I don't remember where that one's from. I think this one might be from AliExpress. And then I have this one, which I think this one is also from AliExpress. It's almost out. It came with another one that had leaves printed on it, but um, the border got messed up on the leaves, so it became useless towards the end. Um, this one is towards the end, but not quite. There is a little bit of plaid here, here, and here. So I did pull this one out, and it's a different plaid, but I wouldn't put it against these ones, but I thought against this it might look okay, so we'll see. Um, and then I also pulled these two. I'm not going to use this one. It's just these came with each other and I just opened them. These are from Joann's. I think that someone gave me these. I don't remember purchasing these. Um, but I love the fox. You know that. But the orange on the fox and the flowers kind of go with it. And then the teal is basically like a lighter version of that. But I didn't know if it would contrast too much or complement. So that's kind of an iffy choice. But you guys know I love foxes. So any chance I can use a fox, I will. Um, I'm actually working on a new design of a fox actually my husband did and I'm working on like the cutting and picking out the colors and stuff um, so that'll be fun it's not um, this one so this was like my previous fox and I've made this in several different colors and patterns and such um, so I'm gonna be coming out with a new one and we shall see if you guys like it oh my gosh date dots do I have date dots um, I think I put them in this stack I'm just not positive all of a sudden that I did that. After I did that huge long intro and I better have date dots. I don't think I do, so I might be writing them in this week, which is fine. I just like stickers. <laughs> okay. So we need headers after date covers. And then I've switched this planner around to putting half boxes up top, which is weird. And then checklists and then full boxes. So we will get there. Yay! Okay, so first up we need to do the wide out and then we'll write in the date. Oh. <laughs> that scared me. I think some washi just fell out of my washi container. 
I left it kind of tilted. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna. This is an orange pen. Um, it's an orange paper mate flare pen. Uh, not flare, paper mate gel. And Mama Cat got a really good deal on it and sent me a red. It was like a pair of like a red and a orange. And so this is the first time I've used this one. But I was a super exciting. Oh, I just wrote 27. See, this is why I just wrote 29. This is why we use stickers. <laughs> 28. <laughs> 29. I like never write them. <laughs> it's always stickers. <laughs> it feels weird to write them and I mess that up so I might eventually cover that with stickers. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay so the white out which like I said I'm definitely going to change up because look even when it's flat it doesn't like it doesn't like to go. Look at it's not going. I'm wasting a bunch of it. It's like the first one it's like fine and then it stops liking me which is a problem because I need it to like me continuously I need unconditional love for my whiteout it's not working there it goes nope 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 okay. stupid high maintenance whiteout of course I have not gone to the stores where I can get some more that one's not so bad. Oh, why did I have to say anything, you ask? Because I'm ridiculous. I wonder if I can go over this one again. <laughs> this is a mess, this one. That's not gonna work. Really? We're just not gonna do this? We're just gonna waste a bunch of it? It's like thick and like spots, but not that spot. It doesn't wanna cover that up. It wants to be difficult. Okay. Um, and I, okay, so I have a lot of lotion on my hands. If my hands seem a little shiny, they are. Um, <laughs> I did that because my nails, ever since I took that stuff off Friday night, it's Saturday night now, but I took them, I took my gel nails off myself, but I didn't scrape them off. I did the whole, like, putting nail polish remover on um, a cotton ball and then using foil to wrap around and hold on my nails for a long time until it like slides off and then I basically just have to scrape the tips off. Um, that's how you get that off. I actually looked it up. And I also watched, I've had them take it off for me too. Like if I have an appointment and I still have them on, then they take them off for you. And they don't charge you. I think if you go in just to get them taken off, I think there may be a charge. It depends on your salon, so I would like call first. Um, but usually like they don't charge if you're getting another set um but like i said i think i'm gonna take a break from getting my nails done because it's been over a year since like i haven't like i i've been doing it for a year so i'm gonna let them breathe i think so i'm not gonna put the top washi up just yet even though i'm gonna stare at that stupid little black line the whole time i'm just kidding now i just made you guys all like stare at it sorry here let's try one more time Nope, made it worse. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we have our headers, which makes me think of like, we have our heading. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I like to put my to-do up here and I decided to start using a half box up here. I started switching it up because I used to use full boxes and then I would end up covering it up with my errands um, because my to-do is for my errands. Like if I have to go to Walmart or the PO box or Target or get gas or whatever, all of that stuff goes in the top. If I have like a bill due that I want to put down, um, that goes in there, like, because my actual, like, little things is, like, my cleaning list and stuff, like, chores I do around the house, which isn't much, but <laughs> I do try to help <laughs> when I can. Like, I'm an excellent fat head, fat head pizza crust maker. Did you know that? It's a skill of mine. I always make the crust for my husband. I'm not doing keto, but he has to, so... Um, I do that and then for my son and I we do like pita bread which my son actually tried Hawaiian pizza for the first time um, and he liked it but he said next time he wants to do pepperonis and pineapple which I'm like yes I love that I love olives and pepperoni and I love olives and sausage and I love pineapple and pepperoni and pineapple and um, ham or pineapple and sausage whatever like I just like to mix those things up like the meats and the toppings um okay so this box we put the half box so now I put my bottom washi in there and instead of at the bottom 
I used to put it at the bottom. It's on this sheet. I was just flipping through trying to find it. That's so funny. Okay, so this one actually goes up here now. I used to use half boxes for my meals, and now I use my full box with a little quarter box on it. So I have to measure this and cut it off. I think I have my scissors nearby. Because like I said, uh, maybe I didn't say, this is an Erin Condren kit. So that's why it doesn't fit the Happy Planner. If you're like, why are you doing that? Because it doesn't fit. If it doesn't bother you, you can just center it and then let it overhang. That's totally fine. I don't know if my contacts are fuzzy or if the screen is fuzzy. <laughs> I don't know. We are having a lot of humidity, so maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I just hope it's clear for you guys. We'll see. Okay. Right there like that. And then we might need a skinny washi. I'm not sure. I think we will. Okay. There. I did consider doing just the brown glitter on top of the white pumpkin, but I just thought it'd be more fun to have the rose gold because I like it so much. I love the rose gold. These three pumpkins are so cute. But anyway, I've had other people ask me if I'm going to do the owl in different colors. Um, there's been multiple people that ask me. I am restocking the owls limited amount, and that's all I'm going to do after that. I won't restock it a third time. Um, so half boxes. I need to measure and see. Yep, I need a skinny washi to go there. Or a washi that, like, it doesn't really mess up the pattern. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to do the plaid because there are some plaid half boxes in here, and I don't want it to clash too bad. Um, I can't do the fox because it would cover it up. Can't do the leaf. I think we're going to have to do one of these. And I'm thinking this one. Because if we cover it up, about that much will show and it'll still be a cute chevron print. I feel like this one is the one I use the most anyway. This actually, this washi, if you remember, I, when I used it, it was it went really well with the sunflower kit from Purdy Planner. It was reopening on the 1st. Yay! This is feeling weird. It doesn't usually make that noise. I wonder if it's aging. Washi does age out, just to let you know. So you need to keep it in a cool, dry place. Because I've had washi get destroyed. Because I had washi closer to like a vent. And that was not a good idea. <laughs> so make sure you're taking care of your washi. Oh, I should have gone the other way. I just said that. Ugh, okay. I'm going to flip this one and I'm going to peel that one back up and flip it the other way because when the half box goes down, I want a full row of arrows, not two half sections of arrows. That looks funny. Okay. I should be able to flip, pick that one back up and flip it around. Sorry. I messed up already. Actually, I messed up twice. I wrote the wrong date on Monday and then now I've messed up my washi. We are on a roll. This is what happens when you talk and plan at the same time. It's harder than you think. And it just curled. That's fantastic. I'm being completely sarcastic. This is horrendous. And like I said, I have lotion on my hands, so I don't want to touch it too much. But I had to put lotion on my hands because my nails were actually like looking kind of chalky. Okay. Voila. Fixed it. All right. Pick this back up. Get on top of there. Yeah, that's how I wanted it to look. That looks how I wanted it to look. Yay! Okay, uh, what else did we do today? Went to Walmart. We needed, like, Kleenex and toilet paper, so that's the only time I really, like, forced myself to go to Walmart. Um, got my son some more Go-Gurt. Um, I asked my kid if, like, we usually pack him a water bottle for his school lunches, but then I was like, what if all the other kids are getting juice, and he's, like, the only kid that's drinking water? And I didn't want him to be like that. So I asked him and he said, some kids drink juice, some kids drink water bottles. And so I was like, okay. So I went ahead and um, bought a thing of like the honest juice because it's only eight sugars or whatever. Um, and then I think I decided I'm only going to give it to him on Mondays and Wednesdays or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So he doesn't get juice every lunch, but just sometimes if that makes sense. 
I think I think every day. But see, when I was a kid, we had Capri Suns in our lunchbox every day. And then it got to the point where we needed two. It was like, Mom, um, one is not enough. We run out, and then we don't have anything to drink. So. And he has a water bottle. He keeps it at school. We send it with him on Monday, and then it, like, stays at school. And he can refill it there. Is that where I like that? Does today go? No. Today does not go there. Little things go there. I think it's my contacts that's making things fuzzy. I think that's right. Okay. Don't want to mess that up. All right. Right? Yeah. Little things. Oh, that one was blank, so that's why I probably didn't remember. Oh, well. Oh, that's funny. I kind of did two weeks of Britannia. Because last week's planner with me was like a collab kit from Britannia and Planner Love SP, so kind of two weeks of Britannia. I had planned to do, um, I think it was, I was going to do a party planner kit on, in my Saturday plan with me, and I had to change it because I was like, well, she's closed right now, so I don't want to show you guys something that you can't buy. Some of you might already have it, but I didn't want to risk it, so I didn't. I just switched it. It was a fall kit for another fall kit, honestly. I'm totally into fall kits. Which did you guys see? Um, blank slate stickers. Her Fab Friday kits. I put, I shared one because it was so cute. It was like a football one, but it was all pink. And I was like, that is adorable. And so now I want to make a pink football, which I also thought would be cool for doing like um, uh, my pink spread in October. I always do like a pink out spread. And we have a pink out game at our school, like for breast cancer awareness. And so I thought that might be a good one for that because it won't be here in time for my um I don't think um I'm not sure of her ship time because I've never ordered from her I have stickers from her because she sent them to me for me to try them out um and I was like love it okay so there's the full box checklist that's gonna go here and I need to decide on washi which for that one I think you only see a smidge of it as well I think that was the one where I was like, yeah, I think I'll do the plaid there. I think we'll do the plaid. Yeah, because when I get to the full boxes, that has plaid in it, so then I can't put the plaid there. Hope that makes sense. See, I also kind of thought that this was kind of a blurry plaid. Like the way it printed, it just looked kind of blurry. And so did the leaves, and I was like, it was really cheap. It was it came from China and I think it was like thirty cents a roll or something like that. But AliExpress is a deal. Okay. But you pay for what you get. <laughs> okay, so line up there. Yeah, I think that looks good together. So I think it's funny how like different shops do these boxes. Because some do, some still do the ombre. I think that's kind of trended out. Meaning like it's not trending anymore. Trended out. Is that a word? I think I just made it up. Oh, well. Um, and then like some have different patterns for each one. Like they kind of take what the full box had and they just change it to that. Or like they completely vamp it. Um, and then others do like kind of solid ones. And then like her, she did the same pattern for each one. And so I think I just think it's interesting how like that's how I keep track of shops too. Like when I do my walkthroughs, if you've never seen me do a walkthrough, um, based on the weekend banner and how they do their checklist boxes and their half boxes, I can tell like whose shop it is and what font is used on their headers because most shops don't change it from kit to kit. <laughs> Weird stuff. Cause I think honestly once they create I don't know how making stickers works, but I feel like once they create a lay uh, like a format then they don't really change it so it stays the same they just change out what papers are used and where but obviously like shops update their formats too on occasion and then they clearance out the old ones or put them in grab bags I've noticed I think it's like based on how they see people using their kits or how they use their own kits is why they change them like I know, I think Pomegranate Sticker Co. She started including 
more than one habit tracker because of me because I use more than one habit tracker in, in I think this planner um I used to actually I did I because I used to have a medicine that I had to take every day and now I don't so I had two habit trackers one for that and then one for brushing my son's teeth and now I'm back to two ha I was at one now I'm back to two habit trackers because I also track packing lunches for myself and my son so that I don't forget it helps I think um, he has asked about buying lunch. The header is kind of like ripped part of the line with it. No, that one's doing it too. Should trim it off. It happens that kiss cut function. Um, he has asked about buying lunch, but I'm not sure he really knows how, um, because he's never done it. Um, for summer school, he did eat school at lunch at school, but everybody got free lunch. And so it wasn't that complicated. And so I'm, I'm like, I don't know when we'll do that, but we will eventually. Okay. It says I'm ready for the leaves to fall. And I'm so excited about his first book fair at school, which I didn't know that like, okay. So I knew that schools like put it on, but I didn't know that like a lot of the the money from the book fair actually like stays with the school that hosted the book fair. And I just think that's kind of cool. And then like his PTA does like a ton of fundraisers. Like he's doing one right now where he's selling like these little discount cards for like local places. And it was funny because like, you know, like the thing is, is like, you know, parents take it to work and sell it. I can't do that at my work because I work at a school <laughs> and our, our own students like try to sell stuff to us. So that won't work. Okay, so do I do this one? Is that perfect? Yeah, that's a perfect width. I could do this one with it. Or, because I don't want to do another plaid. Or it's like leaves that I know I'm going to cover up. Okay, we'll do the leaves at the top because there's this is extra wide compared to like the recollections. So I know that I don't need to use a skinny up there. I can use a regular width washi. I think it goes this way based on where the flowers are turned up. Yeah, it goes that way. Okay. Which is weird, because I think I did the other one the other direction. I like this green and yellow, and like, I don't know if it's brown, it looks black to me. That was what I was, I thought was weird. This is like black. It, this is definitely not brown, but it's wood green. I'm like, why did they make it black? Like I definitely would have been using it by now if they had made it brown. But it's from the, like, Joanne's $2 bin is, I think, where it's found. And then me, I use 40% off of $2. I am not going to pay, like, full price. Unless it's, like, obviously I would use 40% off of, like, a higher item if I was buying more stuff. But I don't do, like, sewing. Um, I've done no-sew blankets. Yeah, the adhesive is, like, coming off onto it and, like, rubbing it off. That's annoying. Those are starting to age out. Okay, let's go ahead and lay these down. And then we'll put the order boxes on there. Which she has um, actual food little things. So I'll probably use those. I'm gonna say that and then I'm gonna forget. <laughs> Cause that's what happens. I wanna do this one next because then I wanna grab the yellow one and then do a teal one. Oh no, I should do a plaid. I should grab that yellow plaid. So then there's plaid on both sides. Sometimes I'm well planned out. Sometimes I just grab whatever sticker's next. It happens. I like the little planner. That's funny. This is the second, like yesterday, if you guys saw yesterday's, I was like, oh, that's a planner. It was the sticker that I put up here. And I was like, I just realized it was a planner, like way delayed. <laughs> and it was funny because I was like, now I'm looking at this. And I'm like, there's a planner in this one too. So I have two fall kits that like, also had planers in the like theme so that's kind of funny okay i'm gonna do the yellow one here this is like pajamas or it's like i don't know like leggings and it's like one of those cable knit sweaters and like slippers oh it's those little like leather slippers i've always wanted a pair of those but they never have cute ones in my size and the men ones look like men ones so i don't want them i know <laughs> You're like, yeah, <laughs> that was me reacting to you. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for the other live playing with me. <laughs> it 
It's just so much work. <laughs> like the setup. Like the actual planning with you guys is not like extra work. It does, I feel I think go a little bit longer. Um, but that's okay. Alright, so we want a color block. No, not really, because the headers are all leaves, so I don't need to color block. So we're just gonna put these here and there. So I'm gonna put this one in the middle. And then we'll put this one. This one is also I'm gonna go down a little bit. Oh, they can't put green on green. That will not work. We'll use this golden one. I don't want to cover up the coffee. I guess we will. We'll go to the bottom. The coffee mug. I'll put the green one on this one up here. Okay. And then, like, kind of reddish. It's like a light red. We'll put this one in the middle. And then this one is going to be difficult. There, right there, down here. I guess down here. We'll just hang it off the washi a little bit. <laughs> and then that one needs to be yellow. Because I don't want the green on top of the teal. That would look funny to me. Okay, then this one can go down here. Perfect. It matches the planer. Yay! Okay, so I just write down what we ate for dinner. <laughs> Alright, so the top washi. Um, let's see. I don't want to go too leafy because that is leaves. I don't want to go plaid. Should I do the foxes? You guys are like, no, that teal does not go. I know. I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, can we use this one? Because it's not like a leafy pattern. It's just like random leaves and plants. I don't know why they put tape on top of tape. Way to go, Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't know. I bought this a really long time ago, so don't run out to your Dollar Tree and be like, she said it was here. I did not. That's how Dollar Tree washi sounds. It always sounds like that. I did not do anything wrong. And it's not aging out. It just sounds like that. <laughs> it's really funny. I cannot use it to like for packaging because it like it undoes itself. It doesn't like to fold around things. But it's fine going straight across. It's fine doing that. It does not mind. But if you actually make it do something else, like wrap around a package, it does not like it. It comes off. So annoying. Oh well. Because I was like, oh, dollar washi. That's perfect for packaging. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, let's see. Sidebar madness. We need headers. Where did the headers go? Stay there. All right, so I like um, a to buy little thing shopping. I guess shopping. Yeah, that'll work. Do a shopping sticker. And then we need that heart checklist. And then we need, um, let's see. I'm not gonna use washi in between. I'm gonna keep going. So I want meals. Is that right? Yeah, I want a meal painting sticker. So meals. There is it this week. Could I use that one? But since there's a meal sticker, I'm gonna use a meal sticker. All right, and then she does have a Monday through Sunday sticker. So I'm gonna use that. Which I think the header could have gone on top of, but that's okay. Okay. And then we need... Um, do we need half box? I don't think so. No, just the habit trackers. Okay. So there's a habit tracker on this one, and there should be some elsewhere. Here they are. There's this one and this one, too. I think I'm going to use the pattern one. So it goes with the kit. So put that one down. And then this is an extra full box now. I'm gonna put this one down and then put the other habit tracker on it. I remembered, yay. We're gonna go down a little bit with this one. I think, there. Okay, so it's kind of like broken up down there. Um. There's payday, day off, meal planning. So we do have payday this week for my teaching job. 
That is on Friday. Weather is going to go over there, so it's fine. Um, no days off. Meal planning. Not sure when I'm going to do that. But not that. Um, movie appointments. Bill dues. No. Well, I mean, I need to pay all my bills on the first, so I guess I could put that down. I mean, you guys like my bill due stickers. Because I never end up using all of them. I'm going to stick this one here on top of the washi. And then, so I have one bell due and one habit tracker left. And then the quarter boxes, washi. From half boxes, the movie marquee and appointment. From quarter boxes, more quarter boxes, which sometimes I use down here. But I had that. Okay, so there's a hump day sticker. Not to cover up the pink part. Um, lazy day, coffee Monday. I like to put that there. And then there's Friday as well date night me time some little bow quarter boxes and all those checklists so if you want some freestanding checklists i have some you can tell me in the note to seller that's where i put that weekend banner and then if you ask me for like full boxes um if you don't want checklist ones like this you need to just put no checklist because <laughs> i don't know okay here yeah it's gonna have to be it's gonna have to be or else I'm gonna cover up too much. Unless I go down here and that looks funny. It's gonna have to be up here. There. Okay. Um, spread picks need to happen on Monday and Wednesday and then Sunday, but we'll get there. And then we can use the little grocery shopping. And then I don't think there's anything else that I would use. Nope. And there's flags. If you want flags. All right. So I thought I would use up um, a freebie. This is from Stickerific from November of who knows when. Um, but there's a little lunch sack. So I thought I would use that for um, lunch. This one. And then I need to bubble in some of it. Okay. So if this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So the last two. Need to bubble in because we don't have it track lunches on the weekends. <laughs> That's not a thing for me anyway. Okay, so those are bubble in, and then I can go through my stickers. It's funny because it's like peppermint mochas because <laughs> it's from November of whenever. Okay, so feed the dog. These are from Penelope Dutch. These are just food bowls and remind me to feed the dog. She eats a lot. She's a lab. So, do you have a dog? What kind of dog do you have? Maybe it's a mutt. I grew up with a mutt. She was um kind of a Yorkie, um, corgi kind of looking dog. There's only one left. Okay, and then weather stickers we'll do later. I already put down that. And then I already did that one. Here's brush the teeth. I'll use the little one from Sticker Monster Co. My son. We'll use a little fox for our spread pick on Sunday from Party Planner. And then put this next to it. These are from um, Planner Love SP. So before the pen. And then spread pick. Put this one. And then midweek days. There. These are from Planner Love SP. And then we have Trash Day stickers from Sticker Monster Co. I think I'm going to use the green one. I like these ones because it's more than just like taking out the trash. It's the actual like trash day. It actually gets picked up here, but it needs to go out there. So I put it there. All right, clean loader box. I need to do that tomorrow, which I think I was supposed to do it today. So that kind of messes up my week. So I need to put on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday next week these are from cupcakes and stickies and then this is my character sticker from pretty alice she's not an etsy shop she's a youtuber and she's on instagram i already have a, a tj friday i already had a coffee sticker there's the date circles i have the right ones 27 28 yeah okay we're gonna go ahead and cover them up because i don't like how i wrote the wrong number <laughs> just to let you know <laughs> I just don't like it. It's one of the reasons I don't write it. <laughs> I also don't really like my handwriting, so stickers are my friend. 
I think some of you feel that way too. You guys have said that to me before. You're like, yeah, I don't like my handwriting either. So I use stickers for pretty much everything. I'm a heavy sticker planner. Some people are fine with writing out stuff. That's cool. That's cool. All right. So I'm going to do that one. I don't need that one. I don't need, nope, nope. Not doing the nails. Um, Bill do also includes car payment. Put that there. It's from Cupcakes and Stickies. You can use this for like road trips and stuff. I don't really do road trips or work trips or anything like that. So there you go. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything else that I really need to use. Oh, planner. That would be good. So here's some planners. We'll use like this brown one. So I plan this planner on Saturdays and then it goes up on Sunday. So I'm going to put this planner on Saturday under my to do's. Weather. I think I pulled up on my phone. I think I did. Okay. Uh, next 10 days. Monday is actually sunny and 92, which is really weird for us because it's been in the 80s and Beth has been very jealous. Hey, Beth. Okay, and then Tuesday is also sunny and it's gonna be like 93. My AC better work in my classroom this week, I swear. Um, scattered thunderstorms in like 80s on Wednesday from Cupcakes and Stickies and Thursday. Okay, and then we're back to mostly sunny, mostly sunny. And then Saturday, Sunday is partly cloudy. These are from Piggy Park Designs. I don't PR for her. Someone sent me these. I don't remember who. It might have been Susan. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Sometimes I write it on the back, which is why I flipped it over if you saw me do that. <laughs> I'm like, these are from so-and-so. <laughs> so if you send me stickers and you write your name on the back, that is totally fine because then I won't remember who they're from. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Good talk. Um, I don't think there's any like pre planning stuff for this week, which is great. Um, it's next week that like kind of starts the madness of September and all the stuff that is going on at my son's school. Um, I don't think, and then this will be a three day weekend for Labor Day, so I'm excited about that. I think that's pretty much it. We still need to go grocery shopping, but I think my husband was trying to wait until Wednesday, and I don't know how we're gonna do that, but. Okay, so my leftovers, I've got that and that one, quarter boxes, quarter boxes, washi tape, have a tracker, bill dues, and etc. and a couple of headers, random headers. And that's it for my leftovers. So let's go ahead and put our clips on. Super excited. And then my Planner Society unboxing will, and video will be up on Tuesday. Um, so make sure you check that out. I'm gonna put this one on the side. And I'll put the orange one on the side. An orange pumpkin and then we'll put the orange bow on this side so we kind of balance out our brown and orange oh i just took that off frazzle frat popped up because it's on the dollar tree washi we all know <laughs> okay there you go that's my spread so i hope you guys like this um spread this week um make sure you check out britannia nicole and all the um lovely ladies in the plan with me design group and um, the link to my shop is also down below if you want to snag some of these clips. New releases are on Thursdays at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video, which is probably tomorrow. Bye!